This is your diamond insight for tonight of the Salaries Commission coming to Zambia. As government ponders the setting up of the salaries law under the Emoluments Commission Act, it is important that members of parliament and witnesses to be invited to the committee carefully evaluate the pros and cons of having such a body. We say this because the Emoluments Commission, if and when established as a sure way of either motivating or demotivating personnel in government or the quasi-government departments. From the onset, the Emoluments Commission is the making of Zambians under Article 232 of our Constitution. It is in the supreme law of our land, enacted in 2016 but has no operating act. It states as follows in Clause 1, that there is established the Emoluments Commission and in Clause 2, the supreme law of the land states that the Emoluments Commission shall determine on recommendation of the relevant authority or commission the emoluments of public officers, chiefs and members of the House of Chiefs as provided in the Constitution or as prescribed. This is the proposed law Vice President W.K. Mtalinalubango is set to table in the current sitting of the House. The objectives of the bill, among others, is to provide for a harmonized framework to govern the determination and management of emoluments for chiefs and officers in a state organ and state institution. According to government, when enacted into law, the Commission is intended to address a number of the inconsistencies that exist in payment of emoluments across the three arms of government. This is the starting point to find reasons for the inconsistencies in payment of emoluments. From our knowledge and investigations, grounded pure civil servants do not get as much salaries as staff working in parastatals and other quasi-institutions. This is because staff in parastatals and quasi-government institutions appear to work under gunpoint orders and complete their tasks according to set deadlines. These are departments under government tasked with collection of revenue for public service operation and the staff are normally equal to the task. This is the reason Z-area officers would receive more money in form of salaries and allowances. For example, the Zambia Revenue Authority staff earn much more than clerks at the Ministry of Finance because of the efforts and time put into their tasks. We hope rather than blanket salaries payable to civil servants according to positions, it is important that the value of jobs are taken into consideration. We are not stopping government from enacting laws as they wish, but a careful evaluation of circumstances of establishing the Emoluments Commission is indeed important.